It is 9.30 <clears throat> on Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve to those who celebrate. Take note of that indoor temperature. There's a story there. Good morning, Miss Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. It's chilly in our house. So the good news is we did not lose our power. And we stopped worrying about it quite so much around two o'clock when we saw our neighbor. And he said that if the power goes out, he would come and install the plug that Dennis bought. He hadn't had a chance to get one yesterday. And, but Dennis went out yesterday morning, first thing in the morning, and bought the kind of plug head that we needed for our garage, <clears throat> for a generator to plug in. So we have the plug, and he said if the power went out, that he would come over and install it. So an entire level of worry went. And then it didn't, it wasn't quite as windy as I expected or, well, in the wintertime it's hard to tell sometimes other than the whistling around the house because, um, you know, there's no leaves on the trees. So we do have wavy trees now. It is windy out there now. In fact, we saw him moving his cars because he had a big ash tree break very near where his cars are. And his, his house is at the very end of our driveway. We have a four, long driveway that services four houses, and we're the first one. And there's another one opposite us on the road, and then there's two houses behind, and his is the furthest back. And this driveway was lined with giant ash trees that have all died. It's really a shame. And he has a lot of ash trees that are dead in his yard, you know, in his area. So apparently we heard a crash and apparently it was one of his trees came down very near where his cars, his two cars and uh, his electric truck, his work truck that has all his stuff in it. So he moved them down into our neighbor's yard away from the ash trees. And that's when we saw him and got a chance to talk to him. So that was a big relief because I was very stressed. I was stressed about the idea of Dennis <laughs> installing this electric thing. And, you know, well, you know, you heard me yesterday. We did not, we had, we had a couple of tiny flickers, uh, but not even enough to like reset the clock on the stove. So really nothing, we had nothing. Um, we did have some high winds, and uh, and as you saw, it got colder and colder and colder. So this morning, <laughs> I came down, and the house was cold. The gizmo said it was 57. The thermometer, the thermostat says it was 60, and it should be 66 in here. I mean, we always keep it cold, but this is bloody cold. So I'm like, oh my gosh, don't tell me the furnace stopped working. Well, the dogs came down with me, and they ran to the back, you know, to the mud porch where the back door is, and usually Maisie's banging on the back door, <coughs> banging on the door to get, to go out. And I thought, oh, we must have forgot to close the dog door last night. And, you know, and cold air's been blowing in all night through the dog door. And that's why it's so cold in here. So I go to check, and there's no dogs in the mudroom. And the dog door is closed. However, the door between the house and the garage is wide open. So last night, Jenna's tried to close the big garage door, and it wouldn't close. We sometimes have trouble with it, and apparently we're having trouble with it last night. So we left, he left it open, which our garage door is open overnight very regularly because we forget to close it. It's hard to tell when it's open from the street, you know. I mean, we didn't, 
he came to bed saying I couldn't close the garage door because I heard him trying. And, um, but that was fine. Except that the door between the house and the garage didn't latch. Oops. And normally, when it doesn't latch, it's not a big deal because the main garage door is closed. There's no breeze, you know. Anyway, <laughs> it's cold in my house, but the temperature's going up. So the heater is working, It's and it was working all night. But, you know, it didn't feel particularly hot in my house like it would normally, like if the heater runs constantly, you know. But it was at 7 degrees outside last night. So it was running constantly, would have been running constantly anyway, even if it hadn't been frozen to death down here. So... But the temperature has gone, gone up one degree since I came down, and I this is my first cup of coffee, so I just got down here. So it will be fine. I will take you on a tour of the dining room. I did not set the table, but I'll talk about that when I walk you through. Oh, maybe I'll just do that now. Fixing my coffee. Fixing her coffee. Christy does not do her floss tube with her first cup of coffee. <laughs> I usually do, but I usually only have one. Well, you only have that giant <laughs> one, yeah. I was thinking I was going to tell you to bring your cup, but... You did in one of your videos. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, good. And I thought about it, but it was just like one more thing. Yeah. And yeah. what if it broke? Then I'd have to buy more, and Rich is already upset with the five I recently bought. <laughs> and you just get it... to storage. And you don't, you don't, you'd only just get another mocha anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm showing the dining room. Christy decorated. <laughs> I mean, I put the centerpiece on. The yes, table. she did. There we go. This is the dining room. This is the final version of the dining room. We did end up with some things in the corner here that we needed to store, but it, they they're going to be long there, I think. So here we go. Now this is my beautiful festive tablecloth that De Dennis and I got when we were in Tanzania and I love it. And I hesitate to move the flowers because they're very full of water. Oh, thank you. Because the main center panel is this charming elephant and baby elephant. We fell in love with the ele elephants. Thank you, my dear. We fell in love with the elephants in Tanzania, I've got to say, and and Kenya, and so we we bought this, and I thought this would be very festive for Christmas and Christmas Eve, but we can't set the table yet because all this stuff on the piano is going to be moved to the table in the next hour or two because the piano tuner is coming today. We moved this piano, and when you move a piano, you really need it tuned, and today was the day he could come, so he is coming. We are working on gathering the lyrics for our Christmas concert that we're giving. We have picked five songs, and I'm looking forward to that, but here's my dining room. Can you even believe it? I still, I still didn't do the windowsill, though. <laughs> I am still me after all. <laughs> so, isn't that pretty? But I will try to remember to take a picture for you for tomorrow's vlog about uh, to s show you the table when it's set. Because um, we have our Farmer's Rose Norwegian dinnerware, our fancy stuff. And uh, and it's probably likely to clash with the elephants yeah. and whatever, but it's going to be festive no matter what. So there you go. So we were able to do that. So the only unusual thing for today is that the piano tuner is coming. <laughs> but we, and I just want to, uh, I was going to report that we were up another degree, but we're not yet. <laughs> furnace <laughs> so anyway the plan for today is to make dinner and hang out with the family the only chore I have that uh, is that I have not um, 
wrapped my presents. And I will do that when Christy goes up to do her floss tube because I have something for her to wrap. And um, when she goes upstairs, the rest of the stuff will be off this table because this table was also clear. And um, I'll have room to wrap presents with no problem. I don't have a lot of presents. I just have for the granddaughters and a little something for Jason and Allison and one for Christy. My sister sent Dennis a present. She's been working on it for a long time. Years. <laughs> but she knit him a scarf. And it arrived the other day, so it's under the tree. So he will have that to open. I haven't seen it. Well, I saw it in progress. So, and, and you know, the way it's wrapped, it's very obviously <laughs> a scarf. And frankly, a little of the paper tore. But um, he decided to open it on Christmas. And so he will be very happy to have that scarf. <laughs> because it's very cold and uh yeah but that was very sweet of her she's been working on it for a very long time anyway 24 24 oh it's christmas morning in new zealand mm -hmm. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Megan and Sheldon and Malcolm and Eloise and Cody. All right. Hold on. <laughs> I love these little bags. They're the best. Oh my God. So here's my present. My non-yarn present. They're all presents. Oh, my non-yarn present is a yarn! From Nana Cindy. Ooh, very pretty. Very pretty. That will be a gorgeous stripe in my blanket. Or, who knows? Could end up in the shawl. Could end up in the shawl. Too bad I'm done with my hats because that would be beautiful in my hats too. Ooh, that will end. So it will end up in the shawl. There you go. There's the final stripe. What do you think? Although I feel like the final stripe might sh might should be green. Oh, that's beautiful and sparkly. You can see the sparkle. Oh, Megan, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And I'm getting pretty excited, I have to say, because my Christmas present feels like a skein of yarn. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Well, I shouldn't, because I'm going to be happy with whatever it was, but. Asking him. Auntie Nana's yarn. Oh, Megan, that's such a gorgeous color. But I think that would make a great striving section, don't you think? To finish things off? Although I am feeling like it should be green. <laughs> I feel like green should end up being the main theme. So anyway, thank you, Megan. Merry Christmas to you guys. And I will say Merry Christmas to the rest of you tomorrow. Well, I'm saying Merry Christmas to anybody who it's already Christmas, not just me, and of course, because it's Christmas in Australia. These are so cute. So anyway, I'm feeling remarkably calm, partly because I was very stressed in the morning yesterday. I mean, I filled the bathtubs with water, I was, you know, I washed, I did a load of laundry because my warmest pants were dirty, so I washed them, you know, I took my shower, you know, and I, you know, just like very deliberately trying to do things that, and in anticipation of no power. So, you know, there were three levels of how things could turn out. There was great, which it no power lost, everything is fine, which is what we got, and I'm so grateful. And then it was the 
plug got fixed and we had we're on the generator and that was great and then no plug no generator except for <clears throat> with um, extension cords and uh, anyway we got very lucky and I feel very lucky I hope everyone had power all day yesterday <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, because I know I wasn't the only one in it, and I know it's very, very cold. We didn't, we, the lowest I saw, as you saw, was seven, so this is not, uh, as, we are not nearly as cold as some of the places in the United States. Um, when Christy woke up yesterday, it was, it, it was nine degrees in Mississippi. <clears throat> it's going to be sad and interesting to see the result of this come spring because a lot of the vegetation, you know, native vegetation in Mississippi is not designed to survive a winter that has this low of a temperature. So we will see how everyone fares. But we were fine and I know some of you were worried and thank you so much for reaching out. Um, but we, we're good. We were all good. Um, we got another degree temperature in here, so the furnace is working great. We're by you know ten o'clock. Well, it's probably ten o'clock now. By ten thirty, we're gonna be up to temperature, and it'll be fine. So it's always something. Oh, I forgot my earrings. I forgot my lipstick. I don't look so festive. I'm sorry, but I'm feeling festive. I'm feeling very ready. The menu today is spare ribs. Allison doesn't eat meat, so we are also having seared scallops. And the kids don't eat anything, so they're having mac and cheese. <laughs> and we have party salad and cauliflower casserole, cheese casserole and broccoli. That's the main meal and then we have cheesecake and key lime pie for dessert so it should be great and the casserole is made it just needs to go into the oven the party salads made the ribs cooked for a day and a half and so they'll be smoked late today this afternoon and then so Dennis all he has to do last minute is sear the scallops and um, steam the broccoli and we'll be ready to go. So he doesn't have too much. Cut up the ribs. So that should work out pretty good. Less stress for everybody. We're going to just have cheese and crackers. Um, if people come hungry, we have, you know, different kinds of cheese and crackers. And that's that. That's what we're eating. And that's what we're eating tomorrow, too. <laughs> I don't... I don't expect to be have very many scallops left over but we'll have ribs left over and uh, I made lots of party salad so please have a wonderful Christmas Eve and I will talk to you tomorrow please take good care of yourselves please please stay safe and stay safe